Traveling Thomas. And it's me, Carl. Carl. Yay. Welcome back. It's so good to see you all again. It is good to see you. Yeah. Each and every one of you. Yeah, I hope you all had a Merry Christmas and an amazing Happy New Year. Oh my goodness. Can you believe it's already a new year? That's crazy. It is so crazy. Yeah. You know what I like to do when things are crazy? What? I like to do a crazy scream. Ooh, our... Let, let's all do a crazy scream together. I like that. Let's I do mean, it. hold on. It's not like we're going crazy, but we're just having fun crazy. Yeah. There's a difference. Yeah, totally. Let's make a fun crazy yell together. Are you ready? Let's do it. All right. One, two, three. <gasps> ah! Okay, that, that's that was awesome. That's good. That's, ah, that's definitely That was like enough. a nice, fresh release. Oh, yeah, I do feel better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, awesome. awesome. Oh, so good. So good. So good. All right, kids, so um, we're back in our time machine, and if you remember from before, we, we visited the first day of creation, the second day of creation, the third day, and the fourth day. So where does that leave us now? Uh, what's it, what comes after four, kids? What comes after four? You're right. right! The fifth day. So we're about to go enter the fifth day of creation. So if you guys remember, we have our handy dandy time machine, which is our Bible. And we're going to go back in time to the beginning of everything when God created the heavens and the earth. Hold on. That really is a revelatory statement. The Bible is a time machine. It is. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> so good. All right, kids. So if you're ready, We'll get this time machine booted up and we'll get going. Let's get this bad boy going. Let's do it. All right, I think we're ready. I'm going to hit the uh, gray button. All right. Thanks, Carl. All right, let's do it. It never gets any easier. It never gets any easier. It kind of scrambles up your brain a little bit. Just a little bit. Welcome to the fifth day of creation, kids. The fifth day. This is an exciting day to come back to. Hey, what do you think's gonna happen on the fifth day? Well, Carl, great timing. We're about to find out. Yes. All right, kid. Kids, let's take a journey to see what's happening on this day. Okay. Then God said, let the water swarm and abundantly produce living creatures. Creatures! Creatures! Oh my! And let birds soar above the earth in the open expanse of the heavens. God created the great sea monsters. Wait! Hold on! Did it just say sea monsters in the Bible? The Bible says sea monsters on the fifth day. God created birds and sea creatures on the fifth day. Yeah, it's so awesome. Wow. So not only did he create sea monsters, but every living creature that moves, with which the waters swarmed according to their, their kinds, and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good, and he affirmed and sustained it. Man, this is amazing. On the fifth day, before there were even humans, he created all the winged birds yeah. and even all the unwinged birds. Yeah, <laughs> it's amazing. What's an unwinged bird? <laughs> I don't know, I just made that, I just made that up. <laughs> well, so God, he, God blessed them all. He blessed them and he said, be fruitful, multiply, and fill the waters and the seas and the birds multiply on the earth. And there was evening and there was morning, the fifth day. The fifth. The day. fifth day. All right. This has been so fun, kids. Now, let's go back to Mr. Moses. He wants to bless you before we're done together today. Let's back to you, Mr. M. Woo! <laughs> now I want to bless you. So hold out your hands in front of you and close your eyes. Here we go. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he shine his face upon you. May he be gracious to you and turn his face towards you and give you peace. Shalom. <laughs>